Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new style type of video where I'm doing new things this year. I know it's completely different, but hey, you know change is good sometimes. So I know this isn't my regular kind of progress or whatever kind of update videos, but this is something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. So um, as the title explains, you know we're doing this whole New Year's resolution, Newscape revolutions for the year. So what I want to do for RuneScape coming into the new year. So basically, if you guys don't know, what I'm talking about is like a New Year's revol resolution. Um, what you do is you set these goals that you want to set for your character or characters that you want to reach or obtain. Hopefully, you know, that's, that's the idea is you're going to hopefully obtain these goals by the end of the coming year. So by the end of 2015, I want to reach X, you know, number of goals and whatever they may be. So basically, you know, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, bear in mind, these are my resolutions for old school RuneScape going into the year 2015. But if you have ones that are different or you don't agree with mine, then just say something down below in the comments, guys. I really want to get you guys involved because lately uh, you guys haven't been commenting or, you know, as active as you guys have usually been in the past. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, basically, my first New Year's resolution for Old School RuneScape is I want to get the Quest Cape. We are so freaking close. It is so infuriating, guys. Um, I have been set back at least a week because uh, I have to grind out certain skills and they cost money. And in order to get money, I have to do other things. You guys will see that in the coming, you know, whatever uh, episode. But anyways, it's, it's just it's very frustrating and I want to make sure that I get this done because this is a huge goal of mine and once I get it done I can relax a little bit and I'm definitely gonna probably be stepping away from the Iron Man type thing because I really am getting tired of it it's growing kinda old and since I'm not an official one you know whatever everybody else is you know with a little symbol by their name because it came out after I started is a little frustrating so yeah so number two um, I want to get into the Slayer skill I've never been one to slay very much, as you guys could tell. I mean, I'm only like, what, level 44 or 43 that I needed for the quest cape. And I, I know the skill is really, really useful and beneficial, but I've never been one to slay. Just because it's never really interested me. I'd rather skill and do something else than, you know, go out of my way to slay a banshee out of the middle of buttfuck nowhere. But anyways, um, yeah, I really want to get into the skill because um, obviously once I deviate from the Iron Man, it's a great m method for money and training as well. So not only will I be getting a crap ton of combat experience, um, it's going to be, you know, just nonstop cash once you get higher up. So I think it'll be very beneficial in the long run. And it's just right now it seems like it's so far off that I won't be able to do that much, but I'm sure I'll fall in love with the skill once I get into it. I mean, I fell in love with hunting when it first came out, and that says fucking a lot, because that skill sucks dick. That's no offense if you, don't, if you like hunting or not, but I just, I don't like hunting very much. <laughs> I'm keeping it at 83, probably never training it again. Now, uh, for number three, for my New Year's resolution for old school RuneScape, um, I want to get a 1,000 Barrows kill count. Yeah, I want to get a 1,000 Barrow kills on this account. And I think that'd be pretty cool, because I've never, you know, been into bossing mini games or anything. I, I pretty much flew solo for a long time because a lot of my friends quit when I was younger and so I was used to kind of just doing things on my own but I figured you know Barrows would be a good way to kind of step back into the game of just you know getting into mechanics of the game that I haven't really explored for a long time and I feel like if I can get a thousand Barrows kills and kind of just showcase everything That'd be pretty cool. It'd just be like a Slayer tab, but it'd be just Barrows. So everything I get from that, I'd log it, show you guys. It wouldn't be like a friend, but it'd be like maybe not a thousand, maybe ten thousand. I don't know. I don't know how long. I don't know. It's just an idea. Just throwing it out there. Now for number four, obviously the War Alone series is coming to an end, which is very, very unfortunate. But that means that I'm going to have to have some content to come up and, you know, rise from the ashes and truly become this amazing thing that War Alone was. So um, I've come up with a couple ideas. Um, I've been knocking this idea around for a long time, uh, top fives or tens. Um, I don't know if that's a popular idea or anything right now. I've been knocking it around for about four or five months and maybe... Uh, maybe I'm a little late to the party or something, I don't know, but I think it'd be really fun. I could do, you know, my top five favorite blank, my top five favorite blank, 
top whatever you know it's just something different and I could like sprinkle that in with maybe another series or something I don't know I think it'd be fun because you know I could do like my top five favorite skills why I like them how I go about training them all that stuff I don't know maybe quests I don't know because you know obviously I'm gonna have every quest done so obviously you know I'll know what I'm talking about there another idea would be a new account build now obviously um, this would tie in with progression and progress videos so um, I wouldn't be foregoing Kriegeline here or anything it'd just be like a new account where I would just train it up again from nothing it wouldn't be Iron Man so it'd be a lot more fast-paced um, basically train it from nothing make it into an amazing account and then probably do something that I don't normally do which would be like PK so it'd be from zero to hero basically and I know that name has been thrown around on a different countless number of YouTube channels but it's just an idea maybe make a different kind of account and see what we can do with it it'd be testing something I had never done I would be experiencing something I have never done personally and I think it'd be kind of interesting to see how that plays out and finally the third bullet point of my starting a new series um, maybe stream more um, this semester I'm not taking nearly as many hours which is unfortunate I know but it's okay because I'm not gonna be at this particular university much longer so that being said I'd be able to stream a hell of a lot more often because my day is pretty much done by noon. Wake up at 8, crack a freaking dawn, and then go until lunchtime, and then I'm done for the day. So yeah, that was just an idea. I don't know. Maybe stream some more. Uh, I don't know. I think it'd be cool, because I want to interact with you guys more. And I know I keep my private off, and I need to work on that. That's just because I'm used to it being off, I guess. <laughs> Growing up playing this game, I was playing solo. So I guess it's just... It's not that I don't want to talk to you guys. It's just kind of what I'm used to. It's my comfort zone. And I need to branch out of that this year, especially this year, because... I want to grow. I want to talk to you people. Okay, so my fifth kind of weird, um, you know, New Year's resolution for old school RuneScape is I want to go for 99 farming. I am completely obsessed with this skill. It has me hooked instantly. Um, obviously, it's a little hard to do as an Iron Man right now because seeds are hard to come by. Yeah, you get your kingdom. Yeah, you get them from, you know, whatever. But I think later on down the road, it'll be much easier. I'll feel it from Slayer or whatever, or Barrows. And I'll be able to fund it and it'll go up really fast. But uh, I'm excited. I want to see it done. Um, and I definitely think I can get it done this year. Um, because it's a pretty fast skill if I'm not mistaken. I mean, we got it pretty fast once we actually did our farm runs. We actually did things because I actually started to like the skill. <laughs> it went up really, really quick. And that being said, um, it would also tie in with herb lore. I could use the herbs for that. I could sell them. I don't know. We'll, f we'll figure it out. But that's something I definitely want to do. Um, one of the final things that I wanted to say was um, my sixth little like New Year's resolution goal is I want to attempt the Achievement Diaries. Now I know uh, they have a lot of high skill requirements and all that mumbo jumbo, but I really honestly feel like we can knock out a lot of them. And um, especially once being able to trade, levels will go up faster and it'll be awesome. So um, I'm excited to see how it works and I definitely want to, I'm excited to see them come out honestly, because obviously there's been tweets about the skills requirements coming out and I'm a little frightened but I definitely want to strive to knock those out so yeah guys um, just wanted to share my New Year's resolutions new scape resolutions with you guys and um, see what you guys thought I just wanted to share it I know it's a little late by the time this video is gonna be going up a couple days late but it's something different I wanted to share it with you guys and um, I definitely definitely want to hear what your guys are so be sure to comment those down below I love you guys I love all the support and I will see you guys next time